Every leap forward in China's aerospace industry stirs the hearts of billions of people, and recently, the news of the upcoming maiden flight of the long the 12th of March rocket has undoubtedly become the focus of attention. As another masterpiece of China's aerospace industry, this rocket carries numerous expectations and dreams. However, alongside the joy and excitement, there have also been some voices of disappointment on the internet. What story lies behind this? Dear viewers, Welcome back to the channel from China. Yes, China's aerospace sector welcomes uplifting news. In the coming year, China's space launch missions are expected to achieve unprecedented breakthroughs. Meanwhile, highly anticipated new types of rockets are also set to debut, including China's proud Long March series, the Long the 12th of March rocket, scheduled for its maiden flight this year. However, upon seeing this new rocket, some netizens raised what seems to be a critical question. This may be because people have set their expectations too high for the new rocket, so they feel somewhat disappointed when they don't see a feature considered crucial. However, it needs to be clear that this disappointment does not necessarily mean the rocket itself has flaws, so, what is the situation? Let China analyze it carefully. Looking at the launch activities in 2023, China's space missions have significantly increased in number, at least compared to the previous year, with a total of 67 planned space launch missions for the year, ranking China second in the world, only behind the United States, and this has hardly caused any controversy. With the development of China's aerospace industry, private enterprises are getting involved, and 2024 is expected to see a new peak. It is estimated that about 100 launch missions will be carried out, including the inaugural launch of China's first commercial space launch site and the accelerated construction of two large satellite constellations. Additionally, major tasks such as the routine operation of China's space station and lunar exploration projects will be underway. Test missions of reusable rockets will help increase the frequency of China's space launches. Among them, the maiden flight of the long the 12th of March carrier rocket is a top priority for China's space launches. The rocket has successfully completed all development work and is scheduled to conduct its maiden flight mission in 2024. This rocket adopts a two-stage design, with the first stage equipped with four liquid oxygen a kerosene propulsion systems generating 1250 kN of thrust, and the second stage equipped with two liquid oxygen kerosene engines with 180 kN of thrust. In terms of launch capability, the rocket's low Earth orbit, LEO, payload capacity is at least 10 tons, while its payload capacity to a 700 km high sun-synchronous orbit, SSO, is not less than 6 tons. The rocket's fairing is standardly configured with diameters of 5.2 meters and 4.2 meters and can be adapted to various sizes according to different mission requirements. This rocket has achieved multiple breakthroughs in China's rocket development history. It is not only the first domestically produced liquid carrier rocket with a single core diameter of 3.8 meters, but also the first innovative design in this type of rocket field in China. The long the 12th of March carrier rocket has not only achieved significant results in innovation but also continued the efficient single-core serial design of the existing Long March series rockets. This concise and reliable structure enables it to perform excellently in various missions and significantly improves its launch capacity to sun-synchronous orbits and the construction capability of low-orbit constellation networks. The rocket further enriches and expands the series of China's new generation of carrier rockets, driving the transformation of aerospace transportation systems towards high quality, while also increasing the carrying capacity of liquid rockets and large fairings to new heights. In addition to the above advantages, the long the 12th of March also has a notable highlight, which is its mission adaptability, allowing it to adjust flexibly to different launch requirements. This flexibility is similar to the previous Long March 5th extended version rocket, enabling it not only to carry out single communication technology test satellite launch missions, but also to accomplish multi-satellite launches, demonstrating its unique adaptability. However, some netizens have expressed their concerns about this type of rocket, which indeed is somewhat embarrassing. In the modern aerospace field, reusable rocket technology is widely regarded as a key factor in reducing costs and promoting sustainable space exploration. 
However, developing such technology is not easy, involving complex engineering challenges, high R&D costs, and lengthy testing periods. From the above text, China can extract several key points. Firstly, the rocket currently under discussion does not have reusable capabilities. This means that once its mission is completed, various parts of the rocket, including expensive engines and electronic equipment, will be scrapped. This practice has been common in space activities for decades, but it brings high costs and resource waste problems. However, although this rocket itself is not reusable, publicly available information from China shows that the development of this type of rocket lays an important foundation for future development of reusable rocket technology. This may mean that some technological breakthroughs have been achieved in rocket design, material application, or manufacturing processes that can be used for future projects. While these advances may not immediately translate into practical applications, they are an important part of accumulating experience and knowledge. Furthermore, China has demonstrated its emphasis on developing reusable rocket technology and clearly recognizes that this is a gradual process. Indeed, achieving full reusable rockets requires extensive research and development work to solve numerous technical challenges, such as designing rocket engines that can withstand multiple launches and re-entries into the atmosphere, achieving efficient propellant replenishment, and conducting effective checks and maintenance after each flight. Therefore, although the current rocket cannot be reused, China's statement emphasizes future goals and directions, acknowledging that achieving these goals will take time and continuous efforts. With the continuous advancement of technology, it can be foreseen that China will gradually introduce rockets with fully or partially reusable capabilities in the future, thereby reducing the cost of space launches, improving launch efficiency, and opening the door to a wider range of commercial and exploratory space missions. Therefore, many people may have noticed that China has not yet achieved reusable rockets and have frequently discussed this issue, which is somewhat embarrassing. Nevertheless, China has openly acknowledged that although its aerospace technology is developing rapidly, there is still a gap with advanced levels. China should maintain confidence, as current shortcomings do not mean that future goals cannot be achieved. In fact, China is actively researching and developing reusable rockets, an effort that many have witnessed. In the ever-evolving field of Chinese aerospace, at least seven types of reusable rockets are expected to emerge. These include the Long March 8R from the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation's First Academy, the Long March 6X from the 8th Academy of China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, the Hyperbola 2 from Interstellar Glory, the New Route 1 from iSpace, the Qianmeng from Link Space Exploration Technologies, and the Zhuqiu 2 from Land Space Aerospace Corporation. Therefore, breakthroughs in China's reusable rocket technology are clearly only a matter of time. At the current pace, it is possible that as early as 2024, China will witness the practical application of reusable rockets. There is no need to be impatient, after all, scientific progress is an incremental process. China's pace of aerospace development is steady, and as long as relevant launch tests are conducted, success is almost certain. So, there is no need to feel embarrassed or worried about the comments of netizens now, recognizing the gap and actively catching up is the right path. This is not a problem, but a challenge and an opportunity. Just as people cheered for this breakthrough, there were many netizens expressing their disappointment on the internet. The reason behind this, some netizens believe, is that although the long the 12th of March has made progress in some aspects, it still lags behind international advanced levels, especially in terms of reusable technology. Additionally, some people have high expectations for the specific application prospects and actual effectiveness of the rocket. When reality fails to fully meet these expectations, they feel disappointed. This sentiment is understandable, but China must realize that the aerospace industry is not built in a day. The maturity and application of each technology require countless experiments and verifications. China's aerospace engineers have been working hard to overcome one challenge after another. The development process of the long the 12th of March rocket is also full of challenges, with each step forward embodying the efforts and wisdom of countless researchers. In fact, 
Every upgrade of the Long March family represents a new breakthrough in China's aerospace technology. From the Long the 1st of March to the current Long the 12th of March, each model has witnessed the growth and strengthening of China's aerospace industry. China has reason to believe that with the continuous accumulation and innovation of technology, there will be more powerful rockets joining this family in the future, helping to realize humanity's dream of exploring space. Of course, the public's attention and support for the aerospace industry are important driving forces for its development. The disappointment of netizens can perhaps be seen as another expectation and encouragement for China's aerospace development. Only through continuous reflection and summary can we clearly understand the gap between the current situation and the goal, and move confidently towards a brighter future. Finally, let me summarize today's video, hoping it brings you some inspiration and value. The maiden flight of the Long the 12th of March rocket is undoubtedly an important attempt and breakthrough in China's aerospace industry. It not only showcases China's latest achievements in aerospace but also provides an opportunity for China to examine and reflect on the direction of its aerospace development. While appreciating the achievements, China should remain rational and support the continued advancement of China's aerospace exploration and innovation. After all, the sky is vast, and China's journey has just begun. Feel free to share in the comments section. That's it for today's video, see you next time with more exciting content. Goodbye for now. For now.